FM radio, freeform radio, was our principal means of communication among the members of that community. We didn't have the internet, we couldn't email each other, we couldn't be on a, on a list together or share some kind of corner of a social network together. We had FM radio. It was a great thing for, uh, for broadening people's appreciation of music and for creating opportunities for uh, musicians to play for uh, audiences that had previously been unavailable to them. To me, there's no question that FM radio opened up uh, possibilities for a lot of artists on all levels of just being known, just being heard, and then of course if they engaged enough people, uh, they would then sell recordings and sell concert tickets and become stars. Musicians who were serious musicians had aspirations to be successful playing music. And so to hear themselves or their friends or bands like them being played on the radio in between Moby Grape and B.B. King, for example, was just the wow factor. These guys were supporting their local bands in a big way. They were, I remember them, they were behind the, there was a group called Oxford Circle, which was based out of Sacramento. And I think KZAP was into them right off the bat. Yeah, one of the biggest uh, things that helped us out was uh, Freeform Radio, KZAP in Sacramento. And, and uh, they played all kinds of different music and it really was beneficial to all the bands. The encouragement came through hearing themselves or hearing music like what they were playing or what, like what they loved on a radio station. It was just great because it provided a whole new audience for our music and it provided a whole new way of radio. There are, I think, a lot of folks who would never have broken through without the freedom afforded uh, to programmers and disc jockeys by uh, this uh, freeform rock. Your channel was the FM radio and this music played by kind of counterculture people like yourself. I mean, you can turn the dial today, you cannot find anything like that.